Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It Down. So there's something causing a ruckus in the cemetery, and we're here to take care of it. Let's start by searching through all the crypts. Well, the screaming horror is probably our culprit. I shall not flag until we prevail. I'm listening. By stealing stuff. I await your instructions. No one stands against steel. I'm listening. Vakana Zakti. Oh, we can read these plaques. Atheric Silver Strike. While alive, I fought the undead. If you read this, please continue my work. Zara Seven. Oh, these are Kickstarter placards. All right. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to read those. They tend to be unimmersive, and there's always a lot of them. Yeah, it's just not At worth once. reading through. At once. Yes. I await your instructions. Yes. I at once. Go ahead. I'm list off I go. What next? I'm going. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh Helano. Boy, Stobadar. What's taking you so long? We need to move. I swear you swinging bollocks are gonna get us killed one day. That's it. I've had enough. Screw you. All of you. I'm out of here. Um Hello? Stop joking about Stobadar. That's not what he meant. Now quit that whining and get climbing, so we. You there. Who in the seven hells are you? You best turn your back and leave. I say we got him. A dead witness is the best witness. I'm not sure. Something weird about this one. Maybe instead of fighting, we could just split the loot. Calm down, everyone. No one's getting gutted, and no one's splitting any spoils just yet. You there. What's your business here? So I can talk them down. I'm going to miss out on some loot by doing so. I doubt the loot's going to be consequential later on anyway. And I have the skill, so I may as well use it. Are you guys robbing crypts in the poorest quarter of the city? You're not going to find anything of value here. These graves were looted long ago. Hmm. Yeah, there's some sense to that. We have no quarrel with you. Let's gather our things and we'll leave. I await your instruct and I'm going to proceed to <laughs> rob all the crypts. At once. Now, there is some truth to my statement. We only found... What, one tick? And all the crypts. At and a couple once. of undead. Alright, let's see if we can't turn this quest back into the Gravekeeper. I await your instructions. I'm listening. And then we're going to head to the Merchant's Road. We should have some more undead to kill there as well. And then we have a handful of quests to turn in at Market Street. This is probably locked if I have to wait till daybreak. Yeah. Off I go. Okay. I'm listening. Yes. Yes. Hmm? Hello. At once.
Alright, Fandian, the deed is done. Hello, my friend. Do you find out what was making all the noise at the cemetery? You're not, Fandian. I found the source of the screams you spoke of. A group of liches took to one of the old crypts in the cemetery. Rest easy now. They are dealt with. He helped me when no one else would. For that I shall forever be grateful. Do you accept these 50 golds as compensation for the work you've done? That should be enough. See you around. Of course. Here you go. Take care. So I wonder just how much more you get uh, from asking for more. Yes. So we can select two spells out of this. Ooh, fireball. I might as well read these and see what they do. So we have Death Pulse. The spell conjures a wave of necrotic energy around the caster, damaging anyone caught in it. Deals 7 to 24 poison and acid damage to the target. And Wasp Assault. The spell conjures a swarm of angry wasps to attack the caster's target. Any enemies in their vicinity. Deals 3 to 11 stabbing damage to the target. Uh, chattering, we've read this before. Crypt opening skeleton. A whisper goes out to the souls of the dead, and skeletons answer. The spell animates a skeleton equipped with a sword to aid the caster in combat. It summons two skeletons for three turns. Jump. The spell teleports a caster to desired point in range to get away from danger or gain tactical advantage over their opponents. And drain life. The spell can be used to leech the life force of a target creature in range. It deals 4 to 20 slashing damage to the target. The caster is healed for 20 health. A crypt opening ghoul. A whisper goes out to the souls of the dead, and ghouls answer. It summons two ghoul for three turns. And fireball. The spell sends forth an immense ball of fire that explodes to the target location, damaging anyone that might be caught in the blast. It deals 4 to 18 heat damage to affected targets, inflicts toasting and burning to affected creatures inside the area of effect. Gendamun's Freezing Fingertips Said to be a favorite technique of the ancient demigod Gendamund, the spell conjures an array of sharp pointed icicles over a target area that lets them loose on whoever happens to stand underneath them. Deals 2 to 7 cold and stabbing damage to affected targets. Inflicts slow to affected creatures inside the area of effect. Pool of Blood. The caster of this spell summons a wide pool of coagulating blood at the target area, hindering the movement of all creatures inside. Inflicts slow to affected creatures inside the area of effect. Why would you choose this over this? I know certain casters only get access to certain spells. But this also inflicts slow, but it also damages, or this only slows them. Maybe it's a bigger area of effect. So I don't want to select any of the lower level spells because I feel like we'll find scrolls for those at some point. We're going to grab fireball here and I guess this summon here. Well, we already have a summon at level 2, so maybe instead I should grab this summon. I'm gonna grab this instead. I await your instructions. Hey, let's talk to this guy one more time. Now that the quest is done. Hey, greetings, Donald. I await your instructions. At once. I await your instructions. I'm listening.
All right, to the Merchant's Road. once. I oh, shall they are. not flag until we prevail. Are right, the quest and updates? So that's only one. Or one go. group of uh, undead. Yes. I'm listening. There. So what do we find? A quest inventory. Chain of medallion. Plus five percent to depressive effects resistance. Plus one to physique and plus five percent to seasoned warrior. Well, the decaying material removed. This item is revealed to be a charming pendant on a simple leather strap. It must have been treasured greatly by its bearer, until he turned into a horde abomination. When held in the hand, you feel a slight tingling sensation, accompanied by visible pulses of light on its surface. Hmm? I will lead. to make sure that the quest did not update hasn't yet so we have more to kill As you say. Is there more to kill? Oh, there's a lot more to kill. Yeah, pull back. No one stands against steel. It's about I missed both those groups and I was walking around. <laughs> hmm? Off I go. You need only ask. Diseased. The class skill percentages are reduced by 30%. I await, off I go. It's not a big deal in combat. I fear neither pain nor death. Alright, nothing to it. Go ahead. You need there? I'm listening. All right, back to Market Street. We have a handful of quests to turn in. Or at least two.
I'm hoping we find another one. We didn't have to make a choice here. I mean, the quest log is indicating that we might find another one somewhere for Zalima. Alright, so we can turn in the quest to Bellum. Yes, we only have two quests to turn once. in. At once. Can I help you? Is your righteous work done, my son? I have slain every undead plaguing the merchant's road. Oh, frabjous day. Kalu Kalei. <laughs> I congratulate you on your bravery, and apologize that the church hasn't the resources to remunerate you with gold. As a token of our gratitude, please accept this pendant. Now, thank you, Brother Wembley. I bless you in Holy Anaris' name. Oh, I take a look at that amulet you carry. Hmm. I remember seeing it worn by a member of the previous groups who took up arms against the undead. He had a brother serving with the Bright Guard, I believe. I advise visiting their headquarters, inform them of the sad news. I can do that. Alright, so Radiant Pendant gives us plus one focus and divine aid two per day. I'm listening. I await your instructions. Go ahead. The music just cut out. Right, this golden pendant bears the inscription of the Church of Honorius. It seems to shine with divine light, emitting a faint glow even in the dark. The priests of Honorius spent dozens upon dozens of hours imbuing this jewel with the radiant blessings of their deity. What do you need? To divine aid. The spell conjures a great amount of divine force to restore the target's health. It deals 2 to 8 heat damage to the target, then living creatures are healed for 24 health. Right, I'm going to give this say? to our cleric instead. Plus, she worships yes. Honorius, so it makes sense for her to have this. I'm listening. Off I go. I never looked Can at his I inventory either. Uh, the Church of Honorius welcomes you, brother. I can search for magical aid. I'm in need of help with magical healing. Oh, very well. We're always here to help. What do you require? Uh, nothing super exciting. In fact, I'm going to sell this. At once. Turn in tonight real quick.
We're sitting on a pretty good chunk of change. Yes. I can buy those earrings. Alright, so I never read the scriptorium or the royal suite descriptions. The royal suite. His lodgings are divided into several private spaces and a dining room, complete with large windows and room service. Royal suites restore a large amount of health to party members during rest. I didn't read the noble room either, I don't think. A neat and tidy, equipped with comfortable rugs and a hearth to offer warmth. Resting in noble rooms will restore a moderate amount of health to party members. And the scriptorium. A haven of peaceful study for scholarly types. Renting the scriptorium will identify some items in the party's inventory based on their learning and research skill. We're going to keep it cheap. At once. We're still fairly low level. We don't have that much health, so we can only restore so much health anyway. At once. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe getting the axe is better than getting the earrings. Because the earrings are only good twice per day for summoning the boars. But the axe is good for every swing that you make with it. So I think I'm going to buy the axe for Helgenhar instead. Can I help you? Do you find Magnild? Is she alright? Magnild is safe now. Oh yes, thank you. Take this gold. It's quite a pile for a poor merchant like me. We'll have to make do. No more meat in my soup for the next few months, that's all. And take these boots, too. I know it's probably boring that I'm taking the middle route, but I'm happy with the, the item rewards, and I don't need the money if they keep giving me items like this. Well, thank you, Balin. Good luck with your business. Thank you again. Take my advice and stay away from Baffledak. Never know what that crazy bugger might do. Or say. Greetings. I didn't see what he said there. The summoner's earrings. I mean, it would be handy to have. Hmm? Alright, let's I go and level everybody up. Uh, bargaining Persuasion. Fan Company. Rowing. I think I'm going to start stacking up waylays. I'm listening. Brewing and trying. Force locks and doors. Slings and fuse to balls. I'm going to give him a taunt. He gets a taunt by default since he's a fighter, using a one-handed weapon. It's not guaranteed, it's a very small percentage of proc. But this might help when my backline's getting attacked. I'm listening. So oh then no, we have to go at talk once. to the guy at the headquarters. Let's go by the axe first, then we'll go turn in that quest. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Alright, so we got the Dwarven Guard Boots. Oh, immune to a knockdown. Plus 25% resist to pulse and blow. Um, these boots were designed by dwarves to help them keep steady feet when confronted with the tremors, earthquakes, and precarious climbs. 
Doors must overcome while traversing underground. The boots will prevent the wearer from being knocked down. Yeah, we'll give that to my main character. And I'll I'm see listening. why not. Yes. Can't wear those anyway. All right, well that works out for me. So yeah, now I'll buy the axe here, and I'm gonna go buy the ring. I didn't buy it, right? I did buy it. Never mind. <laughs> I await your instructions. Yeah. Uh, ho again, Donald. Let's see. It's a very small upgrade, and it's not very expensive, so I might pick this up as well. The yeah, Defender of the Dreaming Timber. It's also cheaper than it was last time. I had more than one. Interesting. All right. I have a couple of ideas. I'm listening. Gonna give this to him. I'm listening. What? Because there's that armor at the pawn shop as well. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like 1200 gold. I mean, plus 2% to all of our resistances for only minus 0.6% to block chance. That's not too shabby. It's probably better for Helgenhar to have since he has a chance of taunting everybody right. and I just gave him a taunt as a skill. I'll do it that way, I think. Ratings. We'll sell this and mm -hmm. return this other quest at once. Oh wait, we also have this quest we can do here. Talk to these guys real quick. Who was in charge? Was it Smolf or was it Hormil? Can I help you? What do you need? Greetings. I await your instructions. So I might have to steal Off from these guys. I'm gonna see if I can. All right, so that's the bracelet we need. It's really in bracelet. This exquisite bracelet is fashioned from a bluish metal from deep beneath the greatest mountains of Yarngol. Its unusual gift of repelling every kind of dust and dirt makes it highly sought after by the wealthy. The bracelet is inscribed on the inner facing with three letters, SJM. I'm lit. Off I go. Alright, cool. And turn that quest as well. Which is conveniently located in the same district as the pawn shop, which is where I want to head to. once. So who do I need to talk to about this? I assume they're upstairs. At once. 
I await. Off I go. I'm listening. Yeah. All right. Let's see what it says here. So I believe the jailer had extra dialogue. There might also be somebody in the prison. At once. And look for that when I was in here earlier. What? Uh, what do you have to say to me, huh? What are you doing in this darn place? Do you know anything about this medallion? Brother Wembley said it might belong to one of the soldiers. Let's make Wembley send you here. One with the gold fringe, fluffy, soft duvet, giving out orders for people to be eaten alive by the dead. Nice little holy man, I'll say. Anyway, show me what you got. What? It's impossible. Is it possible? As the undead became more common on the trade routes, the high priest of the temple put increasing pressure on the bright, guard, bright guards to clear the area. They deployed everyone they could due to manpower shortages, even taking my dear brother Bryson as a scout months ago, which is why I'm on watch here alone. I haven't heard from him since. This medallion was his. Thank you for bringing it back to me. God bless you, kid. Here, get this little gold piece in exchange for your help. Thank you very much. I was happy to help. I wish you all the very best. Goodbye. 100 gold. Off I go. It's okay by me. I think I need to start making more weighted decisions when it comes to rewards. Maybe if At it's once. someone that I don't like or that's you know, not a good person, I can demand greater rewards from. Like Baffledak, I probably should have demanded more from. Then again, he did give me a pretty sweet mace. That I ended up selling anyway. Somebody's loading screens. Alright, I'm going to call the episode here. Off camera, I'm going to head towards the southern shore, and we'll turn to this quest in the next episode, and then... We'll head towards the castle district or Warden Haft and start exploring the next district of the city. Not sure which one yet. But we'll decide then. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.